In this video, Skill Builders, I'm going to teach you three quick things, the Content Aware, Clone Stamp, and Smart Objects. So I want you to download this full um, picture here. I'll give you a link to that. And I want you to get the lasso tool. And you're going to draw just a loose selection around the word Skill Builders. Then go up to Edit Menu and choose Content Aware Fill. It's going to look like this when it does it, showing you a mask and just say OK. And notice how it put a layer that matches the background on top of the word that you were trying to get rid of. So that's one way to use Content Aware. The next way is to select the background layer again and get the lasso tool again and draw a box around the other skill builders and go to Edit, Fill, and don't choose Content Aware on the other menu, but choose it under the Fill menu this time. It's a little bit different. So choose Content Aware here in the Fill menu and say OK. And you'll see this time it filled it without making another layer. Then you can press Control D to deselect. All right, we're going to merge these two layers, that little piece that it put on top. So Shift and click on both of the layers and go to Merge Layers or Control E. So in part two, we're going to learn how to use the Clone Stamp tool. The way that works, it basically targets an area that you um, choose and copies it somewhere else. So it looks like this, looks like a rubber stamp, and it acts like a brush. So you go up to the brush part, make the hardness zero, you can leave the size at 25. And what you're going to do is when you use your Alt key, it's going to make the area that you click with the Alt key the target. So I'm going to notice how when I press the Alt key, it's a target. So I'm going to go over on top of the left eye on the left guy, and I'm going to go Alt click with my mouse. Now I've captured that part of the eye, and I'm going to move it over to the other side, and I'm going to let go of the Alt key and just start painting. And what it's doing, it's copying whatever area I targeted. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. So use the Alt key and click once on the other eye, and then go to the eye on the other side and start brushing that one in. You don't need to hold the Alt key while you're painting. Only use the Alt key to target the area that you want to have copied. So the next thing we're going to learn about is smart objects. Smart objects are a way of editing things where you don't destroy them. It's called a non-destructive edit. So get your marquee tool and draw a box around the first guy and copy him, control C and paste control V so that he's on a different layer. And then go back to your background layer and get your marquee tool again and draw a box around the guy that's on the right. And you're gonna do copy control C and paste control V so that now that they're both on separate layers, okay? On the top layer, we are going to make that a smart object. So we're going to call this one non-destructive. So just a way to remember it is to think about if you're smart, you don't get destroyed. That's how I remember it. And then on the bottom guy, you're going to name this one destructive. So he looks sad. We're going to ruin him. So what you need to do now is go to the top layer that says non-destructive and go in your layers menu and choose convert to smart object. So notice how when you do that, your little icon there, it gives you this little thing on the bottom right corner letting you know that that's now a smart object layer. And what you're going to do is reduce it so it's super, super, super small. Press the, the check mark when you're done. Now let's go to the other layer and make that super duper small using Control T and press the check mark. All right, now I'm going to show you what why a smart object is an advantage. So now go back to the non-destructive guy and that's a smart object and make it big. Notice how the resolution stayed perfect. Now go to the destructive guy and make him big again. And you can see that all the pixels were destroyed because you made them really small. And then when you made them really big, the pixels got big and your picture became blurry. So that's the advantage of making something a smart object before you edit it.